Hello everyone, welcome back to the next episode of Yoga with Sandy. Today we are going to discuss about one of the most common health problems that is the diabetes mellitus. One of the most common hypokinetic disease which happens because of no movement or because of inactivity. Survey shows that around 425 million people suffer from diabetes and of which 62 million are Indians. Diabetes mellitus also occurs because of the defective production of insulin. Insulin, the hormone produced by the pancreas, helps in the metabolism of glucose, fat and the amino acids. Diabetes mellitus also occurs because the cell doesn't use the insulin produced properly. Diabetes mellitus can be of four types. The insulin dependent diabetes mellitus which creeps in very fast uh, which is seen in adolescent men. The non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus which comes after a particular age probably 50-55 years. The third one the malnutrition related diabetes mellitus and the other di diabetes mellitus which occurs due to the hormonal changes or because of use of some kind of drugs or medicines. A very good example of that is diabetes mellitus which happens to the pregnant women which goes off after the pregnancy. So let's see a few asans for the diabetes mellitus. The first one is the balasan or the shashangasan. It's also known as the rabbit or the hair pose. So you come to a vajrasan position with your hands at the front, back as erect as possible, chin up. Now you slowly raise your both hands up and above the head. Now stretch your both hands up, exhale and slowly go down and try to bring your forehead on the floor. You can stretch your hands as far as possible. Make sure your buttocks are still resting on the heels and stay in the final position of the balasan. Breathing shall remain normal. Just keep breathing and stay in that final position of balasan for a few seconds. Now, inhale and slowly come up, slowly bring your head along with the hands and now slowly bring your hands down. Now, release the position and relax for a few seconds, feet apart with the toes pointing out, hands at the back head resting on the right shoulder just relax Now slowly release the position, slowly bring your feet together, slowly come to Vajrasan position for the practice of the same asan, Balasan. Back as erect as possible, chin up, hands at the front. Now slowly raise your both hands up and above the head. Now. Stretch your both hands up, exhale and slowly go down and try to bring your forehead on the floor. Stretch your hands as far as possible and stay in the final position of Balasan. 
your buttocks are still resting on the heels try and stay there for maximum time now slowly release the position slowly bring your hands along with the upper body of the floor and now slowly release the position slowly come to long sitting position and just relax for a few seconds feet apart with the toes pointing out hands at the back with the head resting on the right shoulder just relax Now slowly release the position slowly bring your feet together and now come to vajrasan position back to vajrasan position for the practice of the next asan mandukasan the frog pose so back as erect as possible with the chin up now make a small fist with both the hands and now place it under your abdomen now exhale and slowly go down and stay in the final position of mandukasan your buttocks shall still remain on the heel just hold in the final position of mandukasan for a few seconds breathing shall remain normal just keep breathing and hold there now slowly release the position inhale and slowly come up to neutral position release your both hands and now relax for a few seconds slowly come to long sitting position feet apart with the toes pointing out hands at the back head resting on the right shoulder just relax Now slowly release the position practice of the same asan mandukasan the frog pose coming back to vajrasan position with the back as erect as possible now make a small fist and place it under your abdomen now exhale and slowly go down and stay in the final position of mandukasan where your buttocks are resting on the heels breathing shall remain normal just stay there for maximum time Now slowly release the position inhale and slowly come up now release your both hands and relax for a few seconds come to long sitting position with the feet more than shoulder width apart with the toes pointing out hands at the back head resting on the right shoulder just relax
now slowly release the position slowly come to normal sitting position now we'll do the practice of vakrasan half spinal twist so you come back to a long sitting position again with the back as erect as possible now bend your right leg at your knee and try to bring your heel close to the buttocks now slowly raise your right hand over your head and place your hand at the back near the buttocks now raise your left hand up make a spinal twist just push with your elbow and try and hold your right toe make a spinal twist and look back hold in that final position of vakrasan the half spinal twist for maximum time don't hold your breath just keep breathing and hold there for maximum time now slowly release the position slowly release your left hand now slowly release the right leg now on the other side slowly bend your left leg at your knees try to bring your heel towards your buttocks now raise your left hand over your head and place it exactly at the back behind the buttocks now raise your right hand up push with your elbow and try to hold your left toe at the same time making a spinal twist just look back and hold in the final position for maximum time now slowly release the position slowly release your right hand slowly bring your left leg down release the position and relax for a few seconds feet apart with the toes pointing out head resting on the right shoulder just relax now slowly release the position slowly bring your feet to shoulder width apart back as erect as possible for the practice of the same asana vakrasana now slowly bend your right leg at your knee and try to bring your heel close to the buttocks now raise your right hand up and above the head and slowly place it close to the buttocks Now raise your left hand up push with your elbow make a spinal twist and hold your toes at the same time just look back and hold in the final position of vakrasan breathing shall remain normal just keep breathing and hold there for maximum time Now slowly release the position slowly release your left hand and now slowly release your right leg down now on the other side slowly bend your left leg at your knee try to bring your heel close to the buttocks now raise your left hand up and above the head slowly place it at the back near the buttocks Now raise your right hand up just push with your elbow and try to hold your left toe making a spinal twist just look back and stay there for maximum time 
Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Now slowly release the position. Slowly release your right hand and now slowly drag your left leg down. Release the position and relax for a few seconds. Feet apart with the toes pointing out. Hands at the back with the head resting on the right shoulder. Just relax. Now slowly release the position. Slowly bring your feet together. Now slowly come to standing position. For the practice of the next asan, Pada Hastasana. Hand to foot pose. Feet shoulder width apart. Hands at the front. Head neutral. Now Slowly raise your both hands over your head. Now stretch your both hands up. Exhale and slowly go down. And try and hold your toes. If you want you can bring your fingers under your toes. And stay in the final position of Pada Hastasana. Make sure your knees are straight throughout the asan breathing shall remain normal try and hold there for maximum time if possible try to bring your forehead close to the knees and stay there now inhale and slowly bring your hands along with the upper body over your head and now Slowly bring your hands down. Now release the position and relax for a few seconds. Feet apart with the toes pointing out. Hands interlocked at the back. Head resting on the right shoulder. Just relax. Now slowly release the position, slowly bring your feet to shoulder width apart. Hands at the front with the back as erect as possible, head neutral. Now slowly raise your both hands over your head. Now stretch your both hands up, bend from your hip and slowly go down and try to hold your toes knees shall be as straight as possible head close to the knees try and hold in that final position for maximum time Now slowly release the position, slowly bring your hands along with the upper body up, now slowly bring your hands down, release the position and relax for a few seconds, feet apart with the toes pointing out, hands interlocked at the back, head resting on the right shoulder, just relax.
now slowly release the position now we'll do the practice of malasana the garland pose now you will bring your feet more than shoulder width apart with the hands in namaskar position back as erect as possible chin up now inhale and slowly go down and come to a position where your buttocks are just above the floor and your elbows between your knees keep pushing your knees to the side hold in that final position for maximum time breathing shall remain normal try and do to your maximum if you feel any discomfort you can slowly come up or else try and hold there for maximum time now exhale and slowly come up to neutral position slowly release your hands and now relax for a few seconds feet apart with the toes pointing out hands interlocked at the back head resting on the right shoulder just relax Now slowly release the position slowly come to neutral position for the practice of the same asan malasan the garland pose feet more than shoulder width apart with the toes pointing out hands in namaskar position head neutral now inhale and slowly go down and come to a position where your buttocks are just above the floor elbows between the knees keep pushing your knees to the side head shall remain neutral stay in the final position for maximum time breathing shall remain normal just keep breathing and hold there to your maximum Now slowly release the position exhale and slowly come up to neutral position now relax for a few seconds feet apart with the toes pointing out hands interlocked at the back head resting on the right shoulder just relax Now slowly release the position slowly come to neutral position feet shoulder width apart hands at the front namaste I hope you enjoyed this yogic practices for diabetes you can also try two to three sets of the same but make sure you hold for minimum 20 to 30 seconds on each posture before concluding i would like to give a few tips on healthy lifestyle the most important thing is about having the discipline in having food or the diet make sure you avoid all kinds of processed food have healthy food and a balanced diet and if possible have food on proper time make sure you hydrate throughout the day and have a proper exercise schedule have a high fiber diet and quit alcohol and smoking and the most important thing wear a shoes or sandal take care of your feet like you take care of your face to avoid any kind of infection to your feet so with this i conclude for the day do like share and subscribe my youtube channel and also give your comments and feedback on my instagram and facebook page With this I conclude for the day. 
Thank you. Keep supporting and have a great day.